Hello, my name is Eleanor Tracy, and I'm the director of the team that has created this curriculum for you. It's our prayer that you will adapt it to your culture, your teaching style, and for the children you are teaching. We hope that you will then share it with others in the body of Christ who want to teach their children who God is and what He has done. So welcome to the teacher training for the Worship, the Word, and the Way curriculum. Whether you are a director or a teacher, we hope this training will help you as you walk the children through the Bible stories from Genesis through Revelation. Download a teacher's guide and an at-a-glance for the age group you will be teaching so you can follow along. The first page of the teacher's guide gives you an overview of the lesson. You'll find the aim and the big picture of the lesson. We've included a unit summary chart so you can see where today's story fits in the context of the unit. You can track where we are going and where we have been, which is really helpful especially to substitute teachers. Use the encouragement scripture and prayer to prepare your heart to teach the lesson and unite with teachers all over the world who are praying this same prayer. Prayer is one of the most effective ways we can prepare for teaching our children. The second page provides you with a chart of all the supplies needed for the lesson. Some supplies are downloadable and others you will need to create. This page will help you adapt the lesson to fit the needs and time limitations of your group. Check out all the options in Got Time to see which activities you may want to add to the way. You are free to use any or all of the elements and adapt them as you see fit. Remember, as you make your choices, each activity is designed to reinforce the story or the aim in a different way. In the long run, we want the children to remember the story more than the game they play. By the end of the lesson, they will have explored the same story through a number of learning styles and will understand how to apply it to their lives. The best way to use the remainder of the teacher's guide is to read it beforehand and then put it into your own words. Then, as you teach, you can use the at-a-glance to guide you through the lesson. The teacher's guide is written in script form so that if you have not had a chance to prepare or if you are a substitute teacher, you can confidently follow the script and the children will receive the full lesson. 